vlog readers. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long from YouTube. I can't believe I haven't made a video in so long. But I'm so excited uh, to tell you why I've been gone for so long. It's because I've been working on um, starting my own stamp company with clear photopolymer made in the USA stamps. Um, it's been such a blast. We opened in March with four stamp sets and we have our next release now May 5th. Um, and we start sneak peeks tomorrow, actually at midnight, Friday midnight, so you can actually see them to late tonight, depending where you are, at midnight Eastern time. Um, so we're really excited about that. But for now, um, for those of you that haven't seen them yet, I wanted to show you our stamps from our first release, and also so you can see the packaging and that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna talk about at the end some uh, new inks, that, or inks that are not new, but inks that are new to us, that we're gonna be carrying. Um, so I can't wait to do that. So uh, let's get to it. Um, I wanted to start off our, um, with our sets. This is actually the first set that we designed. It's called Critters in the Burbs, and um, it's a four inch by six inch set. And um, you can see that uh, these are the images. Um, I think they're so cute. It's all the animals you would see in your backyard. So um, I love this little dog. He kind of looks like my little guy. So this tree is so fun for paper piecing. It's fun for Copic coloring. I like to just stamp them without coloring too. Um, really fun. You can build scenes. There's grass, there's flowers. There's even this little thing you can use for the butterfly. You can use it for the squirrel or bunny hopping. Um, and it's just really fun. So this is Critters and the Birds. And so you can see the packaging in our logo. There's the front, and it comes packaged in these type, so you can hang it from your clip it up. As you can see, I have one right here, if you have one. Um, <laughs> I'm pointing the wrong way, but anyways, so it comes like this, and you know, with the plastic packaging here, and this is the back of our packaging, uh, made in the USA. We just, uh, it's the cute little thing in the back there with our logo and our website, which is www.lonfawn.com, and uh, these are the, site, uh, the stamps for this set. So here's another 4x6, and it's called Petite Florals, and I love this set because you can create a fabulous garden. I kind of think of it as like one of those English country cottage gardens. Um, we have all these stems down here that you can stamp different stems with different flowers and create all these new looks, and there's 24 stamps in this set. And uh, what I really like to do with them is paper piece them, so I stamp them on pattern paper and then cut them out and adhere them over um, in a card creating a garden. And it looks really pretty. With the swirl, you can put a flower at the end, a flower here, and it looks gorgeous. You just do that on a card and be done. Um, so it's just a really fun floral. They're petite because they're all little mini flowers. A lot of times we see the big giant flower, but this is really fun because you have the little ones and it could really complement some of your big floral sets. So that is petite florals. And um, our other 4x6 set that we came out with in March is called So Lovely. And uh, I love this set. I think, I think it's a favorite of, of people, for sure. Um, this dress form, I love. I, I want this dress in real life. I wish I could sew, because I think it's fabulous. Um, and this is a stamp set. It has really cute items. And the fun part about it is you don't have to give it to someone who loves sewing. Um, I've given them to people who aren't necessarily sewers that just love it, because the images are so fun and retro. It also really goes along with like Material Girls, Cosmo, Cosmo Cricket's Material Girl line. A lot of the stuff that's coming out right now is this homespun, homemade line, the Jenny Bolin, things like that that looks so good with this. Um, we have little border creators like this one that you can keep stamping over and over, and this swirl is a really fun border. This uh, needle here, you can actually thread it through the spools thread, through this sentiment here, you're so lovely, it can actually go through there. Um, lots of really fun things, paper piecing the button is super fun, Copic coloring, um, just stamping it as a, on its own, it's, it's a fun set. So. That's our third 4x6, and the fourth set we came out with is with a 4x3, and it's called How Delightful, and it's just a really fun set. The chandelier is great, and this is the chain, so you can stamp it as long as you want onto and in a different color from the chandelier if you'd like. What I really like about this set is, like a lot of us, like for me, I have an anniversary coming up. A lot of us have um, anniversaries or got married in summer months, so how it's impossible to make guys cards, right? So. The, this light bulb is perfect for guys, and you can say you light up my life, and I think any guy would like the card because, you know, it's funny and it's cute. And this little burst, you can actually stamp it over the light bulb and the lamp, and you can stamp it over the chandelier on both sides too. So um, it's just a really fun set um, that kind of is really versatile for, for a lot of people in your life. So those are our four sets, um, you can see them all here, <laughs> and um, that we came out with. I can't show you the... Um, the other three that we're releasing just yet, because the sneak peeks 
start, uh, you know, midnight um, tonight, you know, or Friday. So I'm 12.01 Friday a.m. Eastern. <laughs> and um, I always get confused by that personally. Um, so, but I can't wait to show you to th them next week. And this weekend I'm going to be doing videos with them. I'll be doing videos with the sets from March too. I'm really excited about it. My sweet husband's building me this whole thing so I can film and have it be straight and not crooked. And so I'm excited about that. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you was we're going to be carrying Colorbox Fluid Chalk Ink ink pads. Um, a lot of people love these inks. I know I do. They're gorgeous. Um, they stamp with this subtle chalky texture. They dry pretty quickly um, and they're just really pretty. So we're carrying some of the Q's and some of the full size ink pads. So uh, this is one of the colors. Some of them I got, well I got them all because they're all beautiful, every color they have, but some of them I got because the names were funny um, and, and, and the colors are just fun. This is Berrylicious and it's kind of this beautiful raspberry color. I love it. Um, this one is Warm Violet, which um, I've actually had this one for a long time and I love it. I think it's, and I'm not even the biggest purple fan, but it's, a, it's beautiful, it's really nice. This is Chestnut Roan. This one's pretty infamous. Um, Christina Warner uses it a lot. It's pretty hard to find. It's not usually in the stores. So um, I got these so you guys, uh, if you want this color, you could have it. It's a beautiful brown. Um, not super dark, not super light. It's just, it's just great for sentiments and, and stamping anything, really. Here's a charcoal. So it's kind of like having a, a more subtle black color. Um, it's not gray. It's not black. It's in between. It's charcoal. <laughs> so um, that's that one. We have yellow cadmium, which is kind of a subtle mustardy yellow color. I think it's beautiful. Uh, aquamarine, which I'm in love with. I can't actually, I just can't wait to use this one. As you can tell, I, I really like this color, so um, I'm pretty excited about it. And then I got pumpkin spice because we all love the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. At least I know I do. So since we can't have it until October, we can have a color named pumpkin spice. So here's the color. It's kind of this. Um, rusty almost color, um, pumpkin-y color, but a little rusty. So I think it's, it's a really nice color. And um, the other thing we're gonna be doing is carrying the cues. What's really fun about these is you get six colors in these mini cues. So you can try them out. If you wanna see what it's like, but you don't wanna buy the full ink pad, or you wanna try a bunch of colors, it's a great way to do it. This one's called Cozy, which is a great name, especially because it's still cold everywhere. It's still cold here in Los Angeles, or Orange County now. I keep forgetting I live in Orange County now. Um, and here is um, Big Top, which is a fun name, and it's one of their new ones. And on our website, we'll have all the colors that are inside each one listed um, when they go for sale on March 5th. Um, this one's Primary Elements, just a nice one to have. It kind of has every color, basic color that you need. And then this one's called Misty Meadow. It's just really pretty. That actually has Warm Violet on the bottom. It's how I fell in love with Warm Violet um, because I got there and I ended up getting the bigger pad because I liked it so much. So it's kind of, it is a cool way to test. And so you can see how they work. You, this is the one that I've already, that I already have. You open it up like this and here's one color and then you can get to the purple by opening the next one. So those are pretty fun. Um, and then, like I said, the full size ink pad if you really love the color or want the color. So that's everything we have right now to show you. I cannot wait to show you these next stamp sets. I hope you guys will love them. Um, and I'm just so excited about the sneak peeks. The design team is fabulous. They blow me away every day um, with their blogs. And I'm so excited to show you everything they've created. Um, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to start doing videos again. Um, lots of love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful day today. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.